Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Lenti So Inoni. So today I want to show us and share some tips and tricks for making a stretchy fabric. So uh, I'm making a bodycon dress and the fabric I have here is stretchy. But it's also transparent so you'll also be needing uh, lining for it. So this is the fabric I'm working with. This is the right side. This is the fabric I'm working with. Okay. So it's really transparent so I can't just uh, cut and sew. So I'll be needing lining for it. This is the fabric. So for your lining, you'll be needing what we call um, stretchy lining or lycra lining. Okay, so this is lycra lining. This is what it looks like. You can see it's stretching. You can see the, the um, lining is stretching. Okay, so we need a lycra lining. So that's the tip, okay? Or that's the secret to um, working with a stretchy fabric and you want to line it. Okay, so you can see it stretches on one side. This part is not stretchy. It's not stretchy at all. You can see. While this other side is super stretchy. The same thing for the main fabric, okay? So I want to show us how you can fold your fabric. Now, this part is stretchy, okay? It's, it's transparent. I'm sure you can see my body from there. So this part is stretchy. Why this other side is not stretchy? You can see. It's not stretchy at all. But this other side is stretchy. So what we're going to do eh? Your body measurements, your horizontal measurements, the measurements around your body, you're going to make it fall along the part that is stretching. Okay? You're going to make it fall along. I want to bring the camera down a little bit. Okay. So you're going to make it fall along the part that is stretching. You can see. So. Okay, there. So. Now, this is the part that is not stretching. So, if I fold and cut like this, it's not going to be a body con dress because it won't be stretching like this. You can see it won't be stretching. Then, this other part will be stretching. So, but it's not good for your body con dress. So, what I will do will be to fold towards the part that stretches. So, if I want to cut this fabric, I'm going to hold it like this and fold into two so this is the this is the part that stretches so this is the part i'll be folding into two so i'm going to take my measurement like this the bust the waist the hip then this will be the length of the fabric okay the part that is not stretchy will be along the length of the fabric then the part that is stretchy will be along the width of the fabric as you can see so i've folded into two okay then for me because it, it might not be enough to cut the full body measurement so you fold into two again okay so that's how you cut this stretch this stretchy part is the part that will go around the body measurement so the same thing is applicable to your lining now so after um determining that another thing you need to do is to know that you need to cut on pattern okay because most times these stretchy fabrics move around so it's going to be difficult for you to uh, maneuver your way around it so you need to draft on a pattern another thing is the size of needle you use okay so i recommend if you're using a blackhead sewing machine i recommend you use a hfa size 18 um, needle if you're working with um, an industrial sewing machine i also recommend you use a size 18 dc needle okay dc needle for industrial sewing machine size 18 then for your um, blackhead manual sewing machine you need a ha size 18 needle now another step for your um stretchy fabric is that when you want to attach your zipper when you want to fix your zipper if you want to fix your zipper to it it means you're going to be using interfacing you're going to use gum stay at the back at the, zone, at the zip allowance so that when you finish fixing your zip you're not going to have it bulging or you know, folding or ruffling okay so these are the steps you need to take and if for any reason while you are sewing um your your sewing machine just keeps thread okay or the thread keeps uh, skipping it is because the fabric is stretchy so you need to go and cut pieces of paper and line it on your seam allowance okay on the part that you're going to sew then you stitch on top of the paper okay stitching on the paper and on the fabric okay that way your fabric the paper will stabilize the fabric okay and you will just sew along it when you are done you can always remove the paper and you know make your work neat okay but, but i don't recommend using um 
gum stay okay or any form of stay on the side seam allowance because it's going to stop the stretch of the fabric okay of the dress okay so it's a body con dress because it's going to stretch and snap on your body right that's why it's a body con dress so you don't need to put um interface it up so that it will no longer um be stretchy okay so another thing you also need to factor in when you're making a stretchy fabric is your seam allowance you don't need so much seam allowance okay so if you add a um, one inch seam allowance because the fabric is stretchy if you sew on one inch seam allowance the fact the dress is going to be bigger than the person of resins so if you left if you kept the one inch seam allowance please make sure that you sew with around one and a half inches seam allowance so that it's going to be snug on the body that's why it's a body con dress and that's why it's a stretchy fabric except the person says otherwise i don't want it to fit that but if anybody gets um a stretchy fabric the person probably wants uh, something that fits on the body all right so i'm just going to go ahead it's an off shoulder and um, three-quarter dress nothing serious are going around it so i'll go directly draft on my pattern so my pattern paper i'm going to start drafting this off shoulder body con dress so you're going to need your vertical and horizontal measurement so because i want this to be an off shoulder i'll do a minus um five and a half so it means i'm going to place my tape at okay i'll do a minus five so it means i'll place my tape at five inches okay then i'll mark the bust point um the under bust is the body con dress anyway it doesn't really need the under bust but i like to just highlight all those measurements so that's the half length then the shoulder to your hip length you would also be needing the shoulder to the length of the dress okay so shoulder to hip it's around 27 to 28 inches for this client all right so and the next thing would be from the shoulder to the length of the dress so then you add your two inches hemming allowance okay so you rule out the lines in a straight line just to identify the marks or the points you're going to work on okay so um what you're going to do is to determine your bust and your waist and the hip measurement you're going to divide them by four okay so those horizontal measurements we divide by four the bust the waist and the hip okay so you're going to get your bust measurement divided by four whatever you have you mark it on the chest line now the chest line is the distance from the shoulder to where your armhole would be so to derive that you need to divide your bust measurement by six plus two inches so her chest line here is nine and a half so i'm going to rule that out like i said chest line is derived by dividing the bust measurement by six plus two inches similar so this is chest line this is bust point this is on the bust this is half length this is shoulder to hip length or hip line and this is the length of our dress okay length gown length and this is your hemming allowance so now that we have all these um, lines sorted out you're going to start putting in the measurements so like i said you need bust waist and hip okay for the horizontal measurements so your bust measurement divided by for whatever value you have mark that on the chest line then add your two inches seam allowance okay then on the waist you're going to divide your waist measurement by four and add your two inches seam allowance now you'll be wondering why i'm adding two inches so this is a pattern okay i can actually use this pattern to make another another dress with ankara fabric or any fabric of my choice so that is why i'm adding two inches seam allowance okay otherwise you don't need allowance when you're making a bodycon dress with a stretchy fabric another thing is like customers like seam allowance now on the hip line i'm going to measure the hip divided by four plus two inches so like i was saying customers like seam allowance so you don't want to make the mistake of making an outfit for them and after like 10 years they'll come back and tell you this dress doesn't fit anymore why didn't you add allowance so please that is why i'm adding this allowance but when i'm going to sew i'm going to sew with two and a half inches instead of the two inches allowance i left now on the hemline you're going to mark exactly what you have on the hip okay then come in by two inches okay you can see what i've done mark exactly what you have on the hip measurement then come in by two inches this is to taper it down okay to give you that pencil effect so i'll connect from bust to waist connect from waist to hip right then i'll connect from hip to the two inches that i marked inwards at the hem of the dress okay so if you if you don't want it to be tapered you can just bring it down but it's a body con dress it has to be fitted that's why i came in by two inches 
at the hem okay so whatever you have on your hip measurement mark the same on the length then come in what by two inches just to tip it in now that we've done that we need to consider the neck width for our north shoulder right so you're going to be needing your round shoulder measurement to determine your neck width now to the round shoulder measurement you're going to subtract the off shoulder whatever you took from the off shoulder so let's say i did a, an off shoulder of my minus five so because the pattern is on fold okay it's going to be 10 inches for the front 10 inches at the back i don't know if you get okay it's an off shoulder of the shoulder okay so for one side of the shoulder i have minus five in front minus five at the back that's 10 five plus five is 10 now on the other side of the shoulder maybe the left or the right i have minus five in front minus five at the back that's 10 okay that's another 10 so 10 plus 10 is 20 so 20 is what i have taken out from the length of this dress as off shoulder okay so i'm just going to show you how i calculated my neck width right so remember what i've just explained how you got your 20 inches i need an off shoulder of minus five okay off shoulder minus five then five in front five at the back okay that's 10 for the left hand side then five minus five in front minus five at the back for the right hand side that's another 10 inches I hope you get that so this is for the front so the same off shoulder minus five okay front and back that's another 10 inches that's for the back okay so we're going to sum it up together 10 plus 10 that would give us 20 inches okay so you're going to take out these 20 inches from your round shoulder measurement okay so you need to take the round shoulder measurement so remember your 20 inches minus round shoulder so the round shoulder is 47 minus 20 will give me 27 inches so this 27 inches i'll divide it by four to get my neck width for both the front and the back okay i hope you understand so 27 divided by four is 6.75 so this is my neckline width okay for both front and back okay so if you don't understand please pause this video go back watch it again i'll still be in the comment section to answer to your questions remember your off shoulder minus five in front and back that's 10 for the left hand side front five front and back that's 10 so apply whatever you have from your round shoulder then divide the value by four right so you connect from that point to your chest line they also determine your cleavage okay how wide or your neck depth okay how you want it to fall okay so i'm doing nine inches remember place your tape at five inches at the top of the paper they mark nine inches so this is my neck depth okay the person wants it to come down to nine inches okay the, the depth she wants for her neckline is nine inches guys i'm done drafting this pattern so i'm just going to go ahead and cut out so this is the neckline then i'll start cutting so after cutting this is what we have and this pattern is both for the front and the back okay so you can adjust the neckline if you want a different neckline for the back okay so now i folded my fabric into four just i've explained how you can fold how you fold the fabric okay so i folded it into four because i want to cut the front and the back at the same time since it's one pattern that i am using so i'll just go ahead and place the pattern on top of the fabric and i'm going to go ahead and cut exactly what i have here on the pattern okay just transferring the pattern to the fabric basically okay so remember i have two inches same allowance on my pattern but when i'm going to be sewing i'm going to sew with 2.5 inches same allowance the reason i'm laying emphasis to this is because i wouldn't be making a tutorial i, would be, I wouldn't be filming the sewing process because it's actually just to sew in the side seam and fixing your sleeves okay so i don't think i should go into that so i just go ahead and cut making sure i cut exactly what i have on the pattern okay make sure i transfer it directly to the fabric right so i'm done cutting this is what we have and this is what it looks like you can see so when i open it i have both the front and the back okay you can see so i will do the same thing to the lining fold my lining into four then place my pattern on it and cut so when you're done cutting you would see that you have two pieces one for the front one for the back place it on the fabric and turn the neckline and the sides 
also attach your sleeve whatever sleeve you desire for me i did an exaggerated sleeve i use elastic at the top at the bottom of my sleeve okay for the upper part of the sleeve i used a one inch elastic to ruffle it up and at the lower part i use half inch elastic okay so you can see just to give it a form of exaggerated sleeve so this is what we look it looks like this is what we've just made now i'm going to go ahead and embellish it this is just plain okay so after my client comes for fittings i'll go ahead and embellish it so i'll see you in my next one i love you bye